call that unit cohesion? Let's close ranks. I got it. I'll fly. The Santa Blanca cocaine production pipeline, led by El Yayo. It all starts in the fields with the harvesting of the Erythrox lumnova granitens, aka the coca plant. Of the 200 known species of Erythroxlum, only two contain usable levels of cocaine, so you have to know what you're planting. El Yayo knows what he's planting. First, his people strip the leaves off the plant. Then the leaves are dried, finely chopped, and sent to the lab. That's where this chick comes in. The gringa here is an American chemist with Mensa level IQ and sub-zero morality numbers. They take the chopped leaves, dust them with lime. That's right, lime. Then pour diesel fuel all over them. Stir for three days. You can use a washing machine or a cement mixer, but Santa Blanca does it by hand. Then they mix all this shit with sulfuric acid, a dash of caustic soda, and bam, cocaine paste. You dry it, chuck in more acid, and pretty soon, you got powder. But now you have to purify it because no one wants to snort yellow powder. It's gross. So, a little more acid, some potassium permanganate, pyrolusite, hungry yet. Filter it with ammonia and beautiful, pure white cocaine. But everyone knows how to do this, right? What makes Santa Blanca so special? What makes SB a brand? Because they figured it out. How to mass produce a custom product, plant genetics, logistics, mechanization, state-of-the-art labs, reduction of redundancies, quality control, purity of chemicals, and of course, the secret sauce. They're geniuses. They've taken coke production into the 22nd century. What Henry Ford did for the factory, they've done for the lab. They're innovators, they're pioneers, they're SB. Innovation versus experience. Technology versus tradition. Youth versus age. La gringa 
versus El Yayo. I had been hoping they would complement each other, but they could not get along. They were too different. I have been producing cocaine this way for years. That's exactly the problem. Our product was so good, the demand was only increasing. We couldn't keep up. I don't care how you do it. Science, tradition, or voodoo. Just make more. Or I'll find someone that can. El Yayo was born amidst the Bolivian coca. His mother carried him on her back until he was old enough to go to work for himself. For decades, Yayo picked the leaves, fingers blistered, back aching, feet bleeding. But never, in all that time, did he once extract the alkaloids to make cocaine. To Yayo, the coca leaf was an ancient tradition, going back 8,000 years, a medicine, a culture, una planta sagrada. Of course, the Americanos had a different opinion. They called it Plan Dignidad, the Dignity Plan. Although Yayo was no more than a farmer, un cocalero, his world was left in ruins. With no other means available, he was forced to do the one thing that he vowed never to do. He was forced to produce cocaine. In the end, the Americans' efforts to stop cocaine production created one of the greatest cocaine producers to ever live. Sicarios are engaging. Where the hell do they come from? They don't work. Open fire. reinforcements. Here we go. Mood 
dead. Chopper, down, down. Buckle up, people. Bowman, we just arrived in Agua Verde. Welcome to Narco Paradise. Agua Verde used to be a national park, but Santa Blanca turned it into a place to wine and dine VIPs. Run by this narco junior called Carzida. He brings politicians, judges, and CEOs there for relaxation and cartel-sponsored debauchery. What's the plan? We need to know who Sueño's making deals with. Carzida must have a guest list somewhere. You get him, you get the names. Understood. We're on it. We got some intel from Bowman on our boy Carzita. Javier Coronel Bayardo, which is a mouthful, so let's call him what his rich friends do. Carzita. He's a meffy, a Mexican preppy, or a prepsican if you prefer. His main achievement in life was to win the sperm lottery. Gonzalo Coronel Bayardo, telecom billionaire, is his daddy. Gave Sunny everything. Money, cars, education, BA from Harvard, MBA Wharton Business, D Phil from Oxford to acquire a little sophistication and some good English clothes. Now he gets his own resort to run. This used to be a national park, but Santa Blanca turned it into an exclusive resort. It's here that Carzita does what Carzita does best, making connections between Santa Blanca and anyone that's anyone. CEOs, politicians, judges, socialites, even celebrities. You know who that is, right? Hint, she just went to rehab for saying something racist. 
What Karzita offers the cartel is more than just business deals. It's a level of corruption we've never seen before. And it's on you to stop it. We cut the connections, we stop the corruption. Sniper, top of the tower. Yo, cartel gunman, inside the HQ building. Got another tango. This province is part of the cartel's influence operations. The propaganda machine. We should familiarize ourselves with their M.O. The man at the top is El Cardinal, an excommunicated priest turned Santa Muerta proponent. He's also supposed to be the spiritual advisor to El Sueño. Other guy in the mix is Ramon Feliz. He used to be a legit journalist till he inexplicably started blogging for the cartel. All priests like to hear themselves talk, don't they? But as the saying goes, talk is cheap. El Cardenal knew this was true. His people were barely surviving, and he wanted to do something. He had to help those in need. He didn't care where the support came from. But there were others who thought he was making deals with the devil. He was cast out. He lost his family, his friends. Lo perdió todo. When I found him, he was a broken man. I brought him into Santa Blanca to preach the truth of the new faith. For we are wed to death from the moment we are born, and we must come to love her more than we love our lives. Sacred and blessed death, the goddess of darkness can free you from sickness and evil. Do you offer your heart and soul over to her? He baptized me in the true faith. He is my counselor, my conscience. I do. The only person I truly trust with my soul. Yo, two cartel gunmen. There, on the terrace. There's a cartel metal over here. It's gonna break some poor thug's heart to lose this. 
going to spike. Back down. We got a couple of narcos. Point them out. By the HQ building. has a coca plant on it. That's kind of cool. Get back before they make you. Seeing this? Looks like a hell of a resort. A cartel only resort. Let's go scare off some rich folk, fuck with the cartel's tourism, and get Carzita's ass back to Agua Verde. Time we put Carzita's resort out of business. Give it the full rock star treatment. Just don't hurt any of the guests. Submachine guns. Ready? Fire, fire, fire. Roger. I'm engaging takeoffs. Just hit a civilian. 